What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil here and you are watching my YouTube channel SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show you my $300 budget gaming setup. Yes guys, you had it right. I built a $300 budget gaming setup. In this gaming setup, I use my Raspberry Pi 3 as my gaming console after installing the Retro Pi. And for the monitor or display, I use my regular computer monitor. And as a gamepad, I'm using the GameSet G4S. In this video, I'm gonna show you the step by step guide to make a gaming setup under $300. So guys, without talking too much, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe my YouTube channel as a tech tutorial and stay connected with my channel. Well, to build a budget gaming setup, at first you need a Raspberry Pi single board computer. You can use Raspberry Pi version 2, 3, B or B+. I am using this Raspberry Pi 3 model B. Also I bought a case for my Pi with the dual cooling fan. So the price of this pie with case and cooling fan is 60 US dollar. Then you need to have a class 10 memory card. I have this 32 GB of Mixer Shark Edition SD card. The price of this SD card is 6 US dollar. Then I got this VGA to HDMI converter to connect my VGA support monitor with my Raspberry Pi. The price of this converter also is 6 US dollar. Then I have a memory card adapter to connect my SD card with PC to flash the RetroPy on my SD card. I buy this adapter from the local shop. And for the gaming controller, I use this GameSet G4S gamepad. This gamepad price is 49 US dollar. I already made couple of review video on this gamepad. If you want to watch them, then the link will be in description box. And also the best buy link of all these devices are in description box. So make sure to check them out from there. Ok, now we need to flash the retro pie on our SD card. So insert your SD card into SD card reader and connect it with your computer. On your computer, open up your browser and search on Google for retro pie. Then go to this first website and from the download section, download the retro pie ISO file for your Raspberry Pi version. I already downloaded the Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 version. And here is the Retro Pi and some game ROMs. Then open up SD card formatter and format your SD card. Now open HR flashing software. Select the Retro Pi GIF file from here. And make sure you select your correct SD card from here. Then click on flash. It will take 2 minutes to flash the RetroPie on SD card. Ok guys, flash is completed now. So close the HS software and eject your SD card from your computer. Now remove SD card from the adapter and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Now let's connect the GameSet G4S gamepad with the Raspberry Pi via the Wi-Fi dongle. Now let's connect my Samsung VGA support monitor with the Raspberry Pi via the VGA to HDMI converter. My monitor price is 150 US dollar. To connect my Pi with the internet, I am using this LAN cable comes from my router. Now the final thing is to connect with the Pi is power adapter to give power on my Raspberry Pi. The price of this Raspberry Pi power adapter is 5 US dollar. Then power on your Raspberry Pi. Now go to your computer. Here we need to transfer the game ROMs on our RetroPie console. Here I have 4 game ROMs. Copy the game ROMs and go to network. And type here double slash RetroPie. Then go to the ROMs folder and paste your game ROM. I have SNES games. So I am gonna paste it into SNES folder. Then reboot your RetroPy. After the reboot, here you can see my RetroPy is starting. Then on the first screen, you will see gamepad configuration. Just configure your gamepad with the RetroPy 
by following the instruction shows on the screen. Okay guys, now you can see here my $300 budget gaming setup is ready. And here 4 game is installed. Now let's play the game on our RetroPie gaming console. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friend. And if you are new on my channel, then please, please do subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil. You are watching SS Tech Tutorial and I'm signing out.